news right now. A man's fighting for his life after someone shot him in the head in West Nashville. And News Channel 5, Sophie nielsen Colding has been at the crime scene all morning for us. And uh, Sophie, we understand this guy was just delivering a pizza. He was just out doing his job right on this street, 27th Avenue North, when someone shot him in the head. We've got some video from that crime scene overnight. According to police, the victim is around 40 years old and was gunned down sometime before 1.40 this morning. That's when police say another driver pulled up to find the man in a pool of blood on the ground. That witness also saw a black SUV leaving the scene. Police are working to find out if that's related in some way. That victim rushed to Vanderbilt University Medical Center with obviously what they're calling a life-threatening injury, that gunshot wound to the head. Last check, he was still alive. Doctors were working on him all morning. According to police, this does appear to be part of a robbery, but they were working to find out if anything was actually stolen. They do not have a suspect description yet. Live just west of Nashville, Sophie Nielsen, Colding, News Channel 5. Sophie, thank you for the update. More breaking news now. Metro Police looking at another robbery at a gas station off 8th Avenue South. And News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy has the pictures now of the suspect. Dan. Yeah, apparently this guy either didn't know that they had surveillance cameras in gas stations or he just didn't care because in this morning's robbery, he made no effort to cover his face and a very similar thing happened 24 hours ago in another gas station robbery. And that's why detectives think these may be related. Uh, this man in the orange polo walked into this twice daily just off Wedgwood Avenue and 8th Avenue South about 1230. Demanded money from a clerk. He's seen wearing those black shorts, that black ball cap and those black shoes. In yesterday's robbery, just 24 hours ago to Circle K on Nolansville Pike, the robber was wearing a white shirt, again, black shorts, black shoes, black ball cap, and he has that very similar slender build. So police think they may be the same person. At about 1230 this morning, the man walked into this gas station, pointed a gun at the clerk, and demanded cash and ran away with that cash. Thankfully, the clerk was not injured in all this, but now detectives are trying to track this guy down. They had their canines out earlier this morning, but no luck finding him. Police are hoping maybe you out, somebody out there recognizes him, recognizes him and will pass along those pictures, which we've now shared on Twitter and Facebook. Reporting just south of the city, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5. All right, Dan, thanks much for the update on that. More breaking news now. Two teenagers on the run after hitting a South Nashville Sonic, and they weren't just looking for an extra long cheese dog. Police tell us they rushed into the restaurant on Murfreesboro Pike before 11, one of them pointing a gun at one of the employees and then taking off with the cash. Detectives are looking at surveillance video to identify those two. And we're going to share that video just as soon as Metro releases it to us as well. Happening today, a convicted rapist is expected to face a judge again. Brandon Vandenberg will be back in court this morning for a motion hearing. The former Vanderbilt football player was convicted of raping an unconscious female student in a dorm room back in 2013. This morning's hearing is at 9. Download the News Channel 5 app for updates. A Lyft driver nearly killed after picking up a group of teenagers in the middle of the night. Listen to this one. Earlier in the week, that driver says that he picked up three girls at a gas station in Hermitage. They asked him to pick up another friend at the Chimney Top Apartments. But when he got there, one of the girls pointed a gun at his head. He told them he is going to drive them to the police station. That's when they got scared and ran away. There's four girls that are out in the Nashville area right now that are armed and dangerous and they're teenagers and they are trying to carjack somebody's car. That is pretty scary. And that guy's pretty brave to tell them with a gun to his head he's driving them to the police station. He is thankful for the quick police response. He hopes those girls are caught soon because he does have one of their names from the Lyft app when they booked the ride. And a split second road rage decision puts lives at risk in Murfreesboro. We've got the exclusive video. Take a look at it. Two cars are on broad near 841 driver appears to hit the brakes and the two barely avoid a collision. That's when both drivers get out of their cars. This guy's looking for a confrontation and I don't know what changed his mind. I'm glad it did. But Murfreesboro Police Lieutenant Clayton Williams says he's seen situations like this escalate to violence before. In fact, just two years ago, along this same stretch of road, a man was shot when he left his car to confront another driver. As a result, Murfreesboro Police have an aggressive driving unit. Officers are on daily patrol in unmarked cars to watch for erratic drivers who could become involved in road rage incidents. Steve? 
Amy, I want to give everybody a warning. This story is pretty gory. This morning, union leaders are lashing out at CSX Railroad after a gory accident that happened Monday during the solar eclipse. The criticism comes in a memo that has been obtained by News Channel 5 Investigates. Listen to this. I believe it has cut his arm off. It has cut his arm off. Oh, that's the 911 call, and that's the scene right there following that accident where a CSX employee was hit by one train while working on another one. So in a scathing memo, the rail union says management never put safety precautions in place during the eclipse. And more importantly, they were really slow to respond. The memo states, quote, the dispatcher heard the road crews calling for help over the radios and tried to call the tower at Radnor there in the rail yard with no response. Why? Because the entire group of managers and yard masters were outside watching the eclipse. We have that entire memo on our website if you'd like to read it. Just go to newschannel5.com. Meantime, a construction worker is fighting for his life this morning after he took a tumble 30 feet down from a Green Hills construction site. He was working on a stairwell when he fell. Workers are supposed to be protected from falling, either with a guardrail, netting, or a full body harness. Tennessee OSHA now, the Occupational Safety Health Administration, is investigating. This comes after another construction worker died from a fall Tuesday. As soon as we learn more about this latest accident, we will pass that along to you. Amy. Well, new this morning, the United States Postal Service helps police make a major pot bust. The Postal Service noticed a delivery. It smelled like marijuana. But when police showed up to the house, they confronted Jeremy Boke about the package. And they asked him if there was more weed in the home. Officers then found two more pounds of marijuana in a Ziploc bag in addition to the five pounds in a package.